How should I take home ownership of the property that I'm buying? Learning how to hold title on your home can be a difficult process, and since real property is among the most valuable of assets, the question of how to take home ownership of your property is of great importance. I'm Shannon Ellison with The Walker Team, and although I'm not an attorney and cannot recommend options to you, I am going to give you a breakdown of a brief summary of the different types of home ownership. Let's start out the gate with simply number one, sole ownership. Sole ownership can be described as ownership by an individual capable of acquiring title. Examples of common vestings are a single man or a single woman, a married man, woman, or domestic partner, and his or her sole and separate property. For title to property owned by two or more persons, here are a couple forms. Community property, a form of vesting title to property owned together by married persons or by, by domestic partners. In California, real property conveyed to a married person or in a domestic partner is presumed to be community property unless otherwise agreed. Both parties must sign all agreements and documents transferring the property or using it as a security for a loan and each owner has the right to dispose of their half of the community property by will. Number three is joint tenancy, a form of vesting title to property owned by two or more persons in equal interests, subject to the right of survivorship in the surviving joint tenants. Title must have been acquired at the same time and the document must expressly declare the intention to create a joint tenancy estate. When a joint tenant dies, title to property is automatically conveyed to the surviving joint tenant. Number four is community property with the right of survivorship another form of vesting title to property owned together by spouses or by domestic partners. And this form of holding title shares many of the characteristics of community property, but adds the benefit of right of survivorship, similar to title held in joint tenancy. Upon the death of an owner, the descendant's interest ends and the survivor owns all the interest in the property. Number five is tenancy in common, a form of vesting title to property owned by any two or more individuals in undivided fractional interests. These fractional interests may be unequal in quantity or duration. Each co-tenant may sell, lease, or will to his or her heir that share of the property belonging to him or her. Other ways of vesting title include a corporation, a partnership, a trust, a limited liability company, or an LLC. Remember, how title is vested has important legal and tax consequences. You may wish to consult an attorney or a tax advisor to determine the most advantageous form of homeownership for your particular situation. Once again, I'm Shannon Ellison with the Walker team of Intero here to educate and navigate, not speculate and fabricate. Let me know if you have any other questions or need a referral to an attorney or an accountant.